you will be creating two paintings that depict two different times of day in an interior of your home. For my paintings, I used gouache, which is like a heavily pigmented watercolor. It has a matte finish to it. I'm using watercolor paper. And the format of my paintings are six inches wide by nine inches tall. That's a little bit bigger than the drawings that I did last week. I'm using my drawing that I did um, prior to this part um, just as a reference for value. Um, that's why we did the shaded drawings first. And I'm using a mechanical pencil just to draw in my composition. I prefer using mechanical pencils, but again, I just wanna establish that composition. Once I do that, I can start painting. And what I do is I establish the darkest areas of my painting or my scene first. So based on the photograph and based on my value only drawing, the darkest parts that I could determine were the windowsill as well as the corner of um, that part of my kitchen. So I'm just kind of establishing that contrast right off the bat. So I'm continuing to listen to my dope jams while I'm painting and observing my photograph as well as using my value drawing as a reference to match you the values with my colors. This is a painting about light and I want to communicate the warmth and um, the yellow wishes that are happening within this corner of my kitchen. So I'm constantly comparing. You'll notice that I work around a painting as opposed to you know, working on one part, finishing it, and then moving on to another one. So it's this constant ebb and flow and comparing and contrasting um, all of these different areas in terms of light. I'm also challenging myself to be a little bit more expressive than I normally paint because I was very influenced by the two artists that are referenced for this assignment.
So I'm going to start my um, nighttime painting, and I'm starting it exactly in the way that I did my daytime. Um, you might notice that I have a paintbrush in my left hand, and I'm using that to make sure that my angles are accurate to what's in the photograph. Again, I'm just sketching, um, putting down that composition. Once I have my composition sketched in, I can start painting in the same way that I started my other one, establishing um, my darkest shadows as best as I can first so that I kind of have a gauge um, to go on. Um, just as far as like what I'm using for that dark value, it's a combination of brown and blue. So I'm not using straight black because we know that um, black is going to be very, very flat. And, um, you know, using a chromatic black is um, a lot better. I am using the black gouache in some areas, like there is a coffee pot in this composition and the top of it is pretty black. But, um, you know, for the most part, my darks are using that chromatic black recipe of brown and blue. One major difference that I noticed between both of the drawings were the color of the walls. So for this one, the nighttime painting, um, the color that I was really trying to mix and work with was all these different values of this beige. Whereas in the daytime uh, painting, the light was very yellow. Um, so that was you know, something that I had to consider because the only light that is in this nighttime photograph is the light that is over the sink. So this artificial light, and it's really washing out, um, you know, those, the walls to kind of make this beige. Um, so it's interesting to see and to notice the difference between, you know, how light affects color, um, natural light versus, uh, um, artificial. So something that you'll, you're probably noticing as you go through this process as well. <laughs> 